Hi and welcome back to Gift Fair Live. We are here at Sydney Olympic Park and this is of course the Sydney Gift Fair. For retailers who have not yet come on down, it's not too late to register. Simply go to sydneygift.com.au, it's a free registration there and we also are offering free parking at the P1 car park. AGHA are also offering complimentary shuttle buses between the car park and the entrance at the dome. So for this segment, I'm actually in the Australian Made Pavilion again, uh, but I'm with uh, Tiger Balm uh, at stand AM26, and I'm gonna welcome Sharon in. Sharon is gonna tell us all about Tiger Balm. And first off, um, what is Tiger Balm? So Tiger Balm was uh, started due to my traveling all over the world and uh, finding people using an alternate balm, which was <laughs> manufactured overseas. And I thought, why can't we have our own Tiger Balm in Australia? So I, um, took, it took us two years, and uh, so I developed the balm. Uh, we, it's very pure and natural, uh, using essential oils, and it's also vegan-based jelly. Yes. And we actually manufactured the whole balm in Australia. That's fantastic. Um, so when you're talking about uh, Tiger Balm, who is it best suited for? What types of people, what types of ailments can, can utilise this product? Well, we've had some great uh, responses from people with arthritis and back pain, knee pain, yep. neck pain, headaches. Uh, it's very um, soothing and uh, helps with pain relief and uh, even the people who have been using it at the expo have all come back and bought extra jars. So, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, well that's fantastic. Um, are there any potential side effects or risks that we might need to be No, I mean about of that? course with any of the essential oils you, have, you can get irritation if you get it near your eyes. So it's very important that people always wash their hands after they finish using it, as with all pain relief balms. Yep. And uh, the, mo the most important thing is, um, yeah, with children, just take care because, you know, we don't recommend it to be used on young, very young children. So we have um, uh, warnings in, 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 on the ingredients listing inside. Yep. Yep, that's awesome. Now, it, it is different than other balms that are in this category. And uh, it is probably because of the interesting ingredient not interesting ingredients but the ingredients that they use and the the natural kind of qualities that those ingredients have so um, can you tell me more about the ingredients yeah um, so with the ingredients we've used we actually have uh, we've used cinnamon uh, lemon myrtle which is obviously Australian grown we have a, a hemp oil in it Australian hemp oil we've got ginger clove uh, spearmint we've got peppermint um, all of the, the ingredients which help to relieve um, muscular pain, kajaput and camphor. Yeah, lovely. Um, so just tell us again, so what makes um, Tiger Balm different from the other natural um, you know, pain relief balms that are on the market? Well, so we've got no colour in it at all. There's no colours, there's no additives at all except for pure essential oils and the vegan base. Um, we chose vegan because there are a lot of people who don't want to use a beeswax base. Yes. So, um, so actually when you compare it, it hasn't got that very strong pungent hit to it when you open the jar. Yep. Uh, it's very light and, the, and so with the, um, the product you can see when we open it, um, it's a very natural colour which comes just from the essential oils and uh, it goes on the skin very easily. So I think you've probably covered um, one of my other questions for you, but um, what doesn't it contain? So there's, there's other you know products out there, but they contain some really harsh kind of things. But yeah. Yours definitely doesn't have no. certain... No, so we've got no colours. That's no colors. one thing. So adding yep. colours to make it look like it. So, you know, it's got uh, like, you know, orange. It's got no orange colours. It's got well, no colours at all. It's got no additives at all. So it's got no preservatives. So yep. really the natural, all of the essential oils that are in it actually pre preserve it naturally. Yes. So, yes. Um, you know, there's a lot of antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. Um, you know, people have used it even with uh, sore, well, sore, previous broken bones, nerve pain. Mm -hmm. And have said it, we've sent it overseas now, actually to US yep. and uh, the US market are really seriously looking at it because they said it's an excellent pain relief balm so we're really excited about its future. 
That's fantastic. Now, for anybody who may have just joined us now on Gift Fair Live, just wanted to reiterate where we are. So we are at the Sydney Gift Fair here at Sydney Olympic Park. It's not too late to register. Go to sydneygift.com.au and you can visit Sharon here um, at the Tigerbaum stand in Australian Made. So um, I love that it does have all these natural ingredients. Um, there are a few ingredients that I would like to know uh, what particular kind of qualities they have. So you mentioned eucalyptus. Yep. Um, so with eucalyptus oil, what um, natural kind of quality does it kind of possess? Yeah, so eucalyptus, all of the indigenous ingredients, like things like eucalyptus, I mean, our indigenous population has been using them for many years. So again, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, so uh, full of antioxidants as well. So, you know, it's, they're naturally, I mean, the eucalyptus is just a very soothing, when we have, as we know from even ch young children, you know, that, that beautiful soothing aroma of eucalyptus when you've got a cold. So if the cold you can rub it on your chest as well. So yeah, yeah it has a lot of health benefits. Oh, mm. Didn't know that about it, but that's really good. Um, and the hemp oil. So a lot of people aren't uh, very aware of hemp oil and its natural qualities. Can you fill us in yeah, on that? Yeah, so again, hemp is uh, it really starting to trend in the market. It's anti-inflammatory as well. And it is produced, our hemp is produced here. So, um, the, and it helps to give that really nice sensation to the actual balm when it's smoothed on, as well as having anti-inflammatory properties. Yeah. Now, I did notice that because I actually have used this product and I have to recommend it. It, it, it does work. Um, you know, obviously here at the gift fair, a lot of steps are being done. A lot of walking when you come here, there are, you have so many exhibitors. And I actually have used this after a very, very long day of walking and it works a charm. But the beauty is not just the fact that it's got a wonderful scent, but it's not too overpowering, but the, it's kind of got a gel-like um, consistency, mm. which is quite nice. Yeah. Um, to kind of rub so on. It's that not oily. waxy feeling, yeah, yeah, waxy really or nice oily, it absorbs yeah. very quickly into yes. the skin, which yeah. is, I think, what, what helps it actually to, um, to work very effectively yeah. and quickly. Yeah. 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 So moving on um, to another ingredient, which is quite interesting, is the cinnamon. So tell us about that one. Yeah, so cinnamon oil itself, the extract of cinnamon, is very warming. Um, to the, so when you've got a lot of aches and pains, obviously warming up the joint it really helps. So that's what's in it, and it's actually a pain relieving uh, extract as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think you've mentioned um, green tea extract. Can yeah. Can you fill us in on that one? Yeah. So of course, green tea is full of polyphenols, uh, antioxidants, theanine. And uh, we wanted to put that in there because obviously the other part of my life is Australian Tea Masters and uh, we wanted to put the green tea extract in to give it a point of difference yeah. and hence the name Tea Balm. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, while, we, while we are here, we have this audience. Um, did you want to just tell us and fill us in about um, your other, other business that you have? Which... Yeah, so Australian Tea Masters, is, uh, we've been going 11 years and we have an education arm, so I educate around the world on tea. And the other side of our business is wholesale and blending. So we actually have about 150 private label clients. We actually blend a lot of wellness functional blends, hence what gave me the interest to do the Tiga Balm. And just traveling and seeing how many people were, were always like, you know, you know, this is sore, swollen ankles and things from traveling. And, I, and my background in all of the aromatherapy and also working with all of the extracts, we work with Chinese doctors, Ayurvedic doctors, developing their blends for them. Yeah. So we, uh, we, have, we do tea bagging, all of the, the, the whole manufacturing side of the business. So yeah. we have a, a special factory set up for Tiga Balm. So it's actually manufactured in Geelong. Yep. Uh, and it's all food grade factory as well. All right, that's good. So, so really, you, you kind of already knew how to kind yeah. of produce products, yeah. go through R and D, and then yeah. All so we've done the complete R and D for it. Yeah and all the testing and uh, that's what made us actually be able to go to my, you know, get the product completed fairly yeah, quickly. awesome. And obviously you've mentioned a, a few people have had great feedback, um, so it's been received quite well. So yeah, far so our Facebook reviews are really good. Um, we've had a lot of people trying it um, for the first time and as mm -hmm. I said, even here in the fair, people have been here for days and saying, you know, it really did help and you yourself said yes. it worked. So yes. yeah, we have, um, yeah, we're really happy with the results. Yeah, yeah. Mm. No, I'm very much looking forward to taking it on a hike and I imagine after five hours of hiking, <laughs> uh, when, I, when I finally reach the campground, it's gonna be wonderful to put it on. So that's fantastic. So you are Aussie made, mm -hmm. um, you're made in long um, yeah. 
And we're registered Australian made. Yep. yep. So you've got all of that kind of certification, yeah. which is great. Yeah, the name is trademarked. Um, we're, we're really here looking for, you know, we want um, outlets like, uh, you know, pharmacies. We, we picked up some pharmacies yesterday. We want uh, health food stores, just people to have Australian made product. I mean, yes. we've really got to get behind the Australian manufacturing in our country. Yep. It's very important to get, you know, and that's part of why we, we did this. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, why, why can't we replace some of the, the, we bring in so much imported product and we actually can verify everything that's in it and it's yeah. manufactured yeah. here so yeah and that's so true because in Australia we do have so many of these wonderful ingredients here naturally yeah and we're not really utilizing them yeah so that's great that you've actually found that space in the market yeah uh, another one of the questions I wanted to ask you is what kind of retailers but you already touched on that so yeah. um, News agencies, you yeah, said, pharmacies. Yeah, and small, yeah, small boutique type outlets are one point of difference because it's amazing, like we've got, you know, tea shops obviously have it because it's tea based. Yeah. Um, we, we're looking at just small boutique stores and some of the ones, are, you know, they've bought one box and they've gone through 10 boxes. So, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's got a good price point for people. So it's wholesale price and a good retail markup. So, yeah. 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 Yeah, fantastic. Now, for those who actually can't get here to the fair and see you at your stand, where is the best place for them to contact you and find out more about Tiger Balm? Yeah, so you can go on our website. With everything is listed there about the product and its ingredients. Um, it's at www.tigerbalm.com. So that's available for yeah. everybody to get the information and you can order online there. Yep, and Tiger is spelled T-E-A-G-E-R. -E -E yep, and you can also email us on info at tigerbalm.com as well. Awesome. Now, I know that you also have some sustainability practices. Can you yeah. tell us about those? Yeah, so we've tried to do all our packaging to be re recycling. I mean, we've got glass, bamboo lids, yep. uh, cardboard boxes. Come yes. on in closer. Yep, continue. I love it that actually, uh, yeah, on the lid, is, you've yeah. got all the ingredients, all the pictures of the ingredients right there. You've got the lid here. I'm just going to open this, although it's going to be closed up anyway. That's probably our only piece of... Uh, so there we go. This yeah. is gorgeous kind of glass that's frosted. Yep. Yeah. Frosted glass. Frosted glass. Yeah. And you can actually, I can smell it. I can smell it already. It's fantastic. Just this simply opening the cap is gorgeous. And I'll show you the packaging here. So yeah, sustainable. So mm. there we go. So cute, as well as it's incredibly practical, functional, and working. It's great. <laughs> um, now, what other potential products do you have in the works, or is that all a bit hush hush? No, we're going to our next product will be a sleep balm mm -hmm. and uh, we actually work a lot with indigenous ingredients in Australia and we've got some amazing indigenous ingredients not being utilized really to their full benefit yeah. and uh, we actually work with indigenous uh, some indigenous companies doing their ranges for them so we will be focusing on our next one being a sleep balm yep. so yep. that will be out fairly soon that's awesome um, so for those of us who have uh, maybe just joined, again, we are at Sydney Gift Fair. Uh, just go to sydneygift.com.au if you want to register for free. Retailers, come on down here to um, Tiger Balm Stand, which is at AM26. And you can check this out, smell it, uh, use it for yourself and, and really work out how, how good it is. Um, can you let us know about um, your... your um, minimum order quantities yeah so minimum order quantity for wholesale is eight so yep. which is not many it's one it comes like this eight in a box and uh that's our minimum order quantity for wholesale yep. and the, you know that price is uh 98 dollars and the retail recommended retail is between 22 and 24 that's up to obviously retailers what they uh, right. what they want to sell it for we've got plenty of marketing material you'll be listed on our website as a stockist yeah. And uh, we, yeah, we've had some great people coming through, so interested to put it in their health, you know, orientated business. So. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Um, and the other question I just had um, was, what is the shelf life? I know that you don't have all of the synthetic kind of ingredients. No, so well, really because you're using essential oils and yeah. you're looking at a minimum of three years. And things like massage therapists, Pilates, your yoga studios, they're the sort of people we're looking at putting it in yep. because we really want to grow it like that and give people a chance, which is why our minimum is only eight, yep. to try and get people moving on the product because we'd rather have it spread out and be using Australian product 
and selling more, yep. um, actually, you know, in small batches yes. and, and to a lot of people. Then it's not it's selling yeah. a lot to and one person. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. it. Well, Sharon, thanks so much for that. Just to recap, um, Tiger Balm is, is this fantastic product that can be used from people of all walks of life for a variety of different conditions, but for, for muscular pain, for joint pain, arthritis, um, am I missing headache, anything out yeah, there? Yeah, we've got a headache inputted here on temples, back yeah. of neck when you're very tired and stressed. And because of, you've got beautiful essential oils and it's uplifting as well. Yes, yeah, that's right. It's got some really great natural ingredients that she just mentioned. Camphor oil, spearmint, uh, eucalyptus, lemon myrtle. So a lot of native uh, ingredients that we have here in Australia. Completely Australian made. Yes. Um, hand blended by myself. Hand blended. <laughs> um, produced on, is it a food grade? Yeah, food grade factory. Food grade in factory. Geelong. So, yeah, so we actually have a big blending machine, but when I started, we started doing very small batches of blending myself and trying it and yeah. the smell and making sure the texture's right and it actually worked. Gave it to lots of trialing, so yeah. yeah, so we're happy with it. Yeah, wonderful. Um, I think that basically wraps up our presentation today. Sharon, thank you so much uh, for sharing all of this wonderful information with us.